Okay, so we're on the streets of Dublin today and we just want to get your opinion on Donald Trump. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I don't really like him, to be honest. Very good. No. <laughs> yes. Like, I'm going to America in June and I'm afraid that they won't let me in. Because I'm so flaming. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. I think he's a narcissistic, egomaniac psychopath. It seemed like a massive joke to me for a long time. I still think it is. I don't know. Uh, a very dangerous man, I think. It's really weird when you see somebody with so much support, yet so much hate at the same time. So someone like Donald Trump saying, like, let's focus on America. Let's make America great again. I respect those kind of words. I think he's a bit crazy the way that he goes on, you know? China, China, China. Well, I don't like Donald Trump because he's racist and he's stupid. <laughs> I don't care. You don't care? In my country, we have too many problems. I don't care about the United States. Do you think it would be a really terrible thing if you got elected? It would be a total disaster, I think. He never talks about policies. He just talks about he wants to make America great again. I mean, what actually is great? Well, he thing is he don't want to keep people that don't work. See, I'm Polish, and I, and I don't like illegal immigrants in here. Mm -hmm. But if, if if all the like half a million Polish came to the country, and they all do work, they put something in society. But it's different when someone comes to your house and take all your uh, bread and butter and gets nothing for it. He's preying on people's fears because they don't know who to blame. When it should be people like him with his neoliberal ideas, and he's trying to put blame on black or Muslim immigrants and stuff like that. He's, it's hate speech. And even if it is pure populism that he gets in on and he goes against his populism, his voting base that voted him, putting him in there, will continue his fascist, racist agenda. And common sense not that common nowadays, so uh, when someone actually speaks on common sense, people start freaking out. I don't trust him, but he speaks more sense than most other people are, like, you know? He's been very smart. People want change, and he's selling the opportunity for change with no basis behind it. And that is really, really worrisome. The whole situation, he wants to like monitor the Muslim citizens. Like my parents are Muslim. I wouldn't like if somebody from a different country coming in, looking into my house, or even like tapping my emails and my phone calls. He smells just like a politician. From what I've seen, he should be placed in like a asylum or something. He's a modern day Hitler. He's in the 1% and he's reaching the people like he has all the answers. He's got no policies, he's a liar, he's a sexist, he's a racist. I don't like him. That's my opinion, I think. Thank you.